plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans, no plans at all This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net What if there were a highly secretive right-wing organization that consisted of America's top business leaders getting together with government officials and it met behind closed doors away from the prying eyes of the press. What if at these clandestine meetings the state governments across this country were told exactly which laws to enact in order to turn America into a far right-wing hellhole which looks and smells like Rush Limbaugh's bathtub? What if it wasn't the voters that mattered but instead Instead, this secret group of a hundred rich assholes. Now, what if I were to tell you that what I just described does not exist? Because it's not really a secret organization. It's called ALEC, and it's been written about in several mainstream outlets like The Nation magazine. ALEC stands for American Legislative Exchange Council. Contrary to popular belief, it does not stand for assholes leading everything. Cox. It's a really great organization if you're a fan of corporate profiteering, circumventing government, and fat-faced white men legislating a woman's uterus. If you're a fan of those things, then Alec is a fucking amusement park with all the free nacho cheese you can stomach. I'm suspicious they may also be behind Jay Leno's monologue jokes, but that's just speculation. The way it works is Alec has modeled 800 bills to push through state legislatures in a painful yet consistent manner like someone passing a kidney stone. About one out of every five do indeed become law. And these government officials know that if they're good boys and girls and try and pass these horrible destroy the country bills, then they will be rewarded with massive campaign contributions and all the free nacho cheese they can stomach. Alec has been the driving force behind such things as opposing climate change legislation and environmental regulation, privatizing prisons and privatizing schools, destroying workers' rights, taking away voting rights, tax breaks for the wealthy, the NBA lockout, the rise of Russell Brand, and the shitty last season of Lost. I made up the last three, but that doesn't mean they aren't true. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a group of hardcore, full frontal plots governing this country who were not elected and will do anything for profit and power. They go by the name Alec, and they are not like Alec Baldwin. They aren't good-hearted people doing good work that brings other people joy. Instead, they are cruel, talentless, right-wing, demon-spawn hacks who are responsible for some of the worst shit our species has to offer, like Stephen Baldwin. They should change their name to Steven. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Thank you to all of you who have become members recently of Moment of Clarity. At uh, You can do it at LeeCamp.net. I really appreciate the support. Also, I'll be taping a new comedy album uh, February 18th at the Bowery Poetry Club in New York. Get the details at Facebook.com slash LeeCamp or my website. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretend